This episode of Ask the Buffalo is brought to you by GoToMeeting. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger, and this is the place and the time where you can ask any question that you've got from the world of consumer electronics. If you have a question about your cell phone, you don't know what's coming out, you can't put all the rumors to rest, and you want to know what you should get, this is where you can ask it. Let's go ahead and get started. So a lot of the questions that we get are personal questions. People don't know which phone to get. And that's what our first question comes from, user K Deccan, who wants to know, John, my contract is up and I'm wondering whether to get a Droid Razor Max, a Galaxy Nexus, or hold out for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Which phone would you choose for a new contract? So just because your contract is up does not mean you have to get a phone that day, unless your phone doesn't work. If it doesn't work, then yeah, you're going to want to go ahead and get a new phone, but assuming, Cade, that you can wait, I think you're going to wait, want to wait to see what Samsung unveils with the Galaxy S3. All the phones you named are on Verizon, so I assume that's your carrier. We haven't heard any sort of rumors about Verizon picking up a Galaxy S3, but presumably it'll filter down to all the carriers. It's the Samsung Galaxy S2 and the Galaxy Note really set the world on fire. Galaxy X S3 looks to do the same thing. If you need a phone right now though, I would definitely recommend the Galaxy Nexus. Our next question comes from someone who needs no last name. This is from user Emless. He asks, hey John, I own a Windows phone. I'm looking to buy a tablet. Should I go with the iPad or wait for the upcoming Windows 8 tablets so I would be in the Windows ecosystem with both of my legs? Your legs should be on the ground. Windows 8 tablets, I've used them. We haven't seen, obviously, the release of it yet. October is the time frame we're hearing. It's a fantastic tablet infrastructure. So it depends on what you do with your tablets most. If you just do media consumption, if you like to browse the web, you like to watch videos, it's gonna be really hard to beat the iPad. If you're looking for media creation, you want a more feature-packed and more immersive experience where you can go ahead and view flash content and you want to be able to tweak and hack and maybe do some more customization, uh, Windows 8 is going to be the way to go. So it boils down to this. If you're into media consumption, go to the iPad. If you're into media creation, you might want to look at what Windows 8 has in store. All right, so the next question comes from user Brandon Wu, who wants to talk about our just reviewed HTC One X. Is there a major difference between the US international version of HTC One X because they're using different processors or is it not noticeable? So what he's referencing, the international version uses Nvidia's Tegra 3 quad-core processor. The at and version of the One X uses Samsung's dual-core S4 processor. And that's due to LTE not being supported on Tegra 3 right now, unfortunately. Now, presumably that'll get fixed. Uh, I haven't had a chance to test the S4 uh, HTC One X yet, so I can't speak for how the package is going to work. Early reports are, despite having less cores, the S4 chip being extremely capable. From a performance standpoint, I'm inclined to think we're not going to notice that big of a difference between the two. But once I get the HTC One X for AT&T in my hands, we'll put those two head to head and I'll have a final answer for you. Alright, so if you've been reading or watching Techno Buffalo, you know that we've got staff spread not only out all over the country, but all over the world. If you have that same problem at your job or you just miss talking to your friends, I've got a solution for you, and that is GoToMeeting. With colleagues working from home or traveling for business, getting together for a meeting can be an impossible task, but I've got the solution. GoToMeeting with HD faces. It means your face is gonna be in HD. Now your team can meet face to face while online no matter where they are. It takes only seconds and it's super easy. GoToMeeting by Citrix allows you to collaborate on files and plans online. And with HD faces, you just need a webcam to turn on your online meetings into a group HD video conference. Meaning, I could see Noah's bald head, I could see Sean's glasses up face, and I could see John Quatch waving to me all on one screen. You can even participate on the go using the built-in camera on your iPad. Just download the free GoToMeeting app and join. I love GoToMeeting because it lets me bring the entire staff together and let's collaborate and come up with good ideas, talk about new electronics, brainstorm about content that we can bring to you. Start hosting your own face-to-face -face online meetings today with GoToMeeting. Techno Buffalo users, you can give this a shot free for 30 days, no harm, no foul. Visit gotomeeting.com, click the Try It Now button, enter code TECHNO at checkout, and boom, 
you got yourself a 30 day free trial. So our next question comes from user Matt Lampson. John, you've mentioned that the Samsung Galaxy Note has been your go-to phone for the past 12 months. This past week, you've also mentioned how the HTC One X is the best Android phone in existence. Which do you think is better overall phone at this point? First, let me clarify, the Galaxy Note has not been out for 12 months, so I have not been using it uh, for that long. But it was my go-to phone. I love the Galaxy Note. It's huge. People look at me crazy. Then I tried the One X and those speeds, those crazy, crazy awesome speeds, and that gorgeous screen. So if I had to pick a phone right now, the One X would be the phone that I would pick. It'd be a very close second to the Note, and I think the Lumia 900 as well definitely deserves a spot on that list. I just love the way this phone feels. All right, so now let me talk a little bit about behind the scenes, and that's what Les Sauce wants to ask. I'll say it like with an accent. And that's what Les Sauce wants to ask. Why haven't the last two phones you've reviewed had an unboxing video? So how things work, we sometimes get phones under what's called an embargo, meaning we get the phones early, but we cannot talk about them until a certain date and a certain time. Uh, and that's been the case with the One X and the Lumia 900. So the only way that we were going to be able to get an unboxing video up, uh, we have to have the review up at exactly the same time. So generally we have these films for a week before we publish. And I just thought it wouldn't make sense to viewers if they saw an unboxing and then a review immediately after it. It wouldn't seem like we spent the time that we do to do the tests. Uh, I don't put my name or my company's name on a review on a phone that we haven't used for a long period of time. Uh, other people do things differently. Techno and Buffalo, we spend a lot of time on the reviews. We might not always be first, but we always try and give the best information for the consumer. Now certainly there was loss to revenue and ad stuff by not putting that up, um, but the end user perception and the reputation of the company is just more important to us than you know a couple bucks from a video unboxing. So that was the reason, that's the honest answer. Maybe that's not the answer that folks want to hear, but that's the... That's the real reason. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Ask the Buffalo. Uh, I'm John Rettinger. Be sure to check us out on technobuffalo.com for all of your tech news. We've got unboxings. we got hands-on. we got bad jokes, rumors, and everything in between from the world of consumer electronics. We also have three shows every week. And maybe, if you're still watching, we might have another show coming at you. I'm just saying. I'm not saying who the host is going to be. I'm not saying what it's going to talk about but you might see it soon. So check it out. Sha, 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 sha. So our next question comes from user Matt. Matt, Matt, Matt. We have too much fun.